even if you look over the ridge where we were looking before, you see right over here, you saw the highway going up to Hilltop, and then there's another ridge. But on the other side of that ridge is the reservoir, so the deer can't go past that, okay? So the, re the river forms sort of a U around this point, and so all the deer that come down the entire Boise front, effectively all the way from Horseshoe Bend, trying to get down from higher elevations, trying to get down from the cold, trying to get down to where there's still grass, are funneled into this wedge-shaped area here. And again, they can't go any farther to the east down here. They can't go any farther south because of the reservoir. They can't go any farther west because of the cliffs. That's it. And, and one of the reasons Fish and Game is so concerned about it is if you put 1,400 houses here, multiply times two and a half people per house, give or take a little, you're talking a city of about 3,000 people, give or take a little, that are going to want to recreate like we are, cool, I don't blame them, it's a good thing to do, but if you put them that close to the Boise River Wildlife Management Area, which we're in, it's going to degrade even the wildlife habitat capabilities of the management area itself. So not only is it important to have the wildlife management area, it's also important to have buffers on all the sides of it. So that's part of the reason the original zoning and the current zoning at rural preservation to help preserve those buffer lands.